Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and you're listening to my market analysis for June the 15th. So today we got DFOMC minute or I'm sorry DFOMC meeting rate results out and we got also a Q&A session with Yellen what do you want me to tell you? I mean, it was the most pathetic bunch of baloney that I have ever heard in my life. All that she was saying, word for word, is that everything should be improving in the next few years. In the next few years. The poor thing cannot predict anything correctly for the next week. And she is now sitting and giving projections of how things should go for the next few years. So basically, the action of the market today has shown us that this whole deal of rate hike or no rate hike and all that baloney is no longer anymore a concern of the market. And yesterday I told you, because we closed very much so at the middle of the range I said if we do break above the today's high first target would be 2079 where that point of control was and as soon as we got up there there was a very strong severe seller that came in and for the remain of the day that price was capped on the upside and we could not go challenge it whatsoever and the end result was a close at the very very bottom of the range if we go see at our daily chart we can also notice that we are officially now breaking this uptrend line significantly because the close took place outside the trend line and it wasn't any kind of a hesitant break follow through to the downside was good so this is now an official break. Therefore, it is becoming more and more convincing that at least for the short term, a high or a top is in place. Next leg of drop or next legs of drop should first take us to test this area of 2025 and if this doesn't hold which I do not believe it will we are going to come to 2000 and any given time that we reject into 2000 this whole leg up here will be wide open to be challenged also there will be a lot of fear and a lot of outside event news that will come out of what the Brits will do with staying or exiting out of the union but what took place today this very severe reversal on a very very dovish fed it's an extremely bad sign for the market in my opinion therefore now the middle of this bulge at 2072 becomes resistance number one under no circumstance we should reject back above it if we do reject back above it then I'm suspecting that they're gonna go challenge today high which will become the second level of resistance at 2079 and a half on the way down we do not have anything before 2050 once 2050 breaks 2025 is the level below and then finally 2000 so it didn't look good today and I'm expecting that we should see definitely continuation down because if the excuse of buying was the fact that she did not hike the rates and matter of fact she even reduced the prospect of further rate hikes and the market sold off the way that it did it's not good at all for the short term so bounces are to be shorted and this trend or the beginning of the down move to the downside should continue 
Now for crude, you were also given a couple of level of support resistance yesterday. I told you that the POC up there was one level of resistance, 4875-ish. We got like a tick or two close to it. And then from that point on, market as well sold exactly like what ES did. Very similar charts. Both of them at first went up aggressively trapped a whole bunch of new buyers reversed and closed at the very low of the range based on the chart of crude it seems to me that we are heading towards 45 dollars because the trend line break did not create any kind of a reaction back on the upside capital is flowing out of it 46 dollar is the next level of support and if this doesn't hold 44 dollar once it reached 44 dollar i believe it is going to be a very strong support area and could potentially provide a very serious bounce off of it meantime because of the weakness shown today and overall being a downtrend bounces are to be sold at this stage my first area of resistance would become 48.22 in case overnight bounces to that level it should provide resistance if this level doesn't hold then the next level as yesterday the poc up there 48.76 should be the next level of resistance and then there is another poc above that 49.3 but I do not foresee 49.3 to be reached anytime soon, especially if the drop of crude is going to be combined with further weakness and continuation down in ES. So this is the report for today. Let's see how tomorrow goes. But based on what happened today, we should normally see some weakness kicking into the overnight trading session. Thank you for listening. This was Reza with Profile Traders. If you are interested to learn market profile, check my courses. You can get all five plus one year to my trading room for a special price of $675. And if you are interested to check it out, you can also get a two days trial where you can register to obtain it from my website. To the next time.